I'm in Failover Cluster Manager on a Windows 2019 server. And what I want to do is I've gone ahead and created a second cluster here in a previous video in this playlist. So check that out if you need to. And what I want to do is I want to destroy my original cluster. So in order to do that, I've got to get rid of all the resources that are in my original cluster before I destroy it. And then I can move it into my new cluster. So to start with, I see the DHCP role. That's running as a clustered application. I'm just going to right click on that and I'm going to choose Remove. And of course, I want to make sure that DHCP is still running on the server when I'm all done. It's not necessarily going to be clustered, but it's still going to be running. Now, once my role has been removed, I still have one node left, but I cannot evict that node until I've removed all of my storage, and then I choose to destroy the cluster itself. So next, what I need to do is I need to remove the quorum information, so that way I can remove that disk witness. So I'll right click and I'll go to more actions and configure cluster quorum settings. Click next, select the quorum witness and choose to do not configure a quorum witness. And we're going to remove that. Now I can remove all of my disks. So I'll start with my quorum one. I'll choose to remove. And I'll choose to remove the other two. You don't have to take them offline first if all the roles are gone. And since this was a cluster shared volume, when I chose to remove, it basically just removed it from cluster shared volumes. So now it's shown as available storage. I need to remove it one more time. In a non-cluster shared volume, you don't have to do that. It's so like this one's non-cluster shared. All I got to do is right click and choose remove. All right, so all three of my disks are now gone. So my nodes are gone. My rolls are gone. My disks are gone. I don't have anything in enclosures. Of course, I still have one node because you can't delete that until you destroy the cluster. So now I'm going to right click on the cluster itself. I'm going to choose more actions. And then I'm going to choose destroy cluster. You permanently want to destroy this cluster? Yes, I do. So it's going to remove the node from here at the same time. And now I'll be able to add that node into my second cluster. So the cluster has now been destroyed. When I go to nodes, all I see is file server two. So I need to add in file server one again. So I'll click add node. And I'll put in file server one. And I can now add it. And it looks like it's adding it in successfully here. First, it'll show as being down, joining the cluster, and then it should show as being up. There it is. Now it's up. And the wizard is finished. Great. Now I can go back into storage and set my disks back up. It shows all three of my disks that I had in before as available storage. So I'm going to choose my one gigabyte as my disk witness. My cluster disk 2 will be set up as cluster shared volume. So I'll choose add to cluster shared volume. And I do an explanation on what a cluster shared volume is and how it works in a cluster in this playlist. So check that out if you're not sure what that is. And then cluster disk 3 was used for DHCP. So now I need to go back in and set up my quorum. So I'll go in, more actions, configure cluster quorum settings. Select the quorum witness. Configure a disk witness. You could also do file share or cloud. And I want to choose that one gigabyte one. That's the really small one. There it is. So that's all you need for the disk witness in a cluster quorum. And my last one is I need to set my role back in. So configure role, add back in DHCP server. I'll add in a unique name and IP address. And it finds the only disk that I have left, which is this disk that you see here. Click Next. And it's adding it in. Now, of course, I can configure DHCP at this point, but I've already done that in the previous cluster, so it should still have the same settings. So now you know how to properly destroy a cluster and in the proper order and create and add in nodes and roles and uh, hard drives back into a new cluster. And if you missed creating that second cluster, that's also another video in this playlist. So be sure to check it out.